Hi, you're watching the program video for John Cabot, University of Rome. We'll go over some quick things you need to know before applying to this program. Let's start with eligibility. To be eligible for nomination, students must have a minimum GPA of 3.0. DU students studying art history, international studies, business, and Italian will be given priority for nomination. However, students from outside these fields are also welcome to apply and will be considered, provided they have made a strong case in their nomination essays that this program fits their academic, professional, and personal needs. Don't forget to check out the essay essentials in the DU nomination instruction section of the program brochure. There you'll find mandatory and recommended points to include in your essay in order to be eligible for nomination. Namely, students are required to mention watching this video and discuss their understanding of the direct enroll program structure, as well as discussing safety realities, city expectations, and commute times in Rome. As a US style university, John Cabot uses a US academic system, so the format should be familiar. Classes may be taught by Italian or European professors, so there may be some influence from the European academic system as well which can tend to be more lecture-based and more reliant on one final exam as the only grade of the term. John Cabot provides education for English-speaking students from around the world, including U.S. international degree-seeking students, U.S. study abroad students, and local Italians. Study abroad students can register for most classes on campus and study a variety of subjects. Be aware of prerequisites and lab fees, which are the student's responsibility. Detailed syllabi and course descriptions are available online. Students are strongly recommended to take an optional Italian language class, but this program is not a good fit for a student looking to focus on Italian language study. Also, be mindful of course approvals, since John Cabot offers some classes that don't have a course buying department at DU. Additionally, some for and not for credit internships are available for a variety of Italian levels, but are limited if students have no Italian ability. Interested students should go to the internship office on campus. This program's level of support is medium high and the structure is a direct enroll. John, Habit, John Cabot has a higher level of support as a U.S. institution. However, it also holds to the Italian model of treating college students quite independently. So while support is absolutely available for any questions students may have, it is up to students to reach out for those questions and ask for further guidance. Staff will do their best to help within the confines of what's reasonable in the local culture and norms. Students are strongly recommended to use John Cabot's health insurance, which meets the Italian government's requirements for insurance in the visa process. In this program, students will live with other U.S. City abroad students and furnish and equipped apartment-style dorms. Students are not charged meals to DU, but can choose to sign up for a meal plan and play John Cabot directly. Students are placed in the dorms based on availability in the buildings and should be prepared for commutes between 20 to 30 minutes using public transportation depending on their placement. If the dorms are full, John Cabot will place students in off-campus apartments, which may also include commute times. Rome is a very large, often touristy city with the metro population of over 4 million people. John Cabot's beautiful campus is located in the heart of Rome, just across the river from some, of, from some of Rome's greatest attractions. Like other big cities, students studying Rome should be aware of safety concerns, mainly petty crime like pickpocketing and muggings, often targeting foreigners and students. Students should exercise common sense precautions, such as not carrying a lot of cash, being aware in crowded places, and learn about safe modes of transportation to go home if traveling at night. There are also some areas in our campus that students should avoid where tourist center crime that can turn violent can occur. Students will learn more about how to stay safe at orientation, but note that John Cabot has more security on campus and has a 24 hour security number. Catcalling can be an unfortunate and uncomfortable reality too. Try to do as the locals do and ignore it. You can also reach out to your local contact for more resources and strategies to cope. Finally, Italy has a strike culture that is seen as a strong way to have a political voice heard that may impact transportation. Most strikes are planned, so stay informed in order to avoid strikes and do not attend them. John Cabot has a campus feel similar to a university in the States. Student life is very active with a variety of clubs and organizations. There are volunteer opportunities available as well. One thing to note is that a huge number of US students study abroad at John Cabot. As such, it may be hard to meet Italians who are used to study abroad students frequently coming and going and are less interested in forming short-term relationships. Getting involved on campus, exploring internship options, and taking classes with local students can be ways to build those connections. Students will also be required to apply for a student visa for Italy. While John Cabot will provide some guidance, students should be prepared to navigate that process more independently. Most consulates will require an in-person appearance at the consulate as part of that application so students should be prepared for that travel and expense. 
Students should ensure their passport is valid now and for at least six months after the end of the program and should not plan any international travel over the summer as their passport will be at the consulate as part of their visa processing. Students can read more about the Italian visa process and the immigration instructions included as a resource at the end of the brochure. Now you have a better idea of what to expect on the John Cabot program. Remember to mention this video in your essays for the program. Thanks for watching.